In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a free app on your smartphone to help you work on improving your golf swing. Stay tuned to find out how to hook the app up to your golf simulator so you can get instant slow motion feedback, just like in a professional golf studio, but without it costing you a fortune. Swing Profile is a free app that you can download for iPhone or iPad and it can be used as a fantastic training aid whether you've got a home golf simulator or not. Basically, it records and analyzes your golf swing in slow motion and then sends it to your phone for some instant feedback or, as I'm going to show you in this video, hook it up to your computer. It's basically like a budget version of the setup that golf teaching professionals have in their studios. So after watching this video, this is what your golf simulator setup could look like. As you can see, I've got both the Skytrack range and the Swing Profile app on screen at the same time. So the way that I've got things set up in here, I've got my mobile phone over here with the Swing Profile app open, and that's just sat on a ledge that is about waist height. Now you guys can use a chair or whatever else you've got that's waist height. And the phone screen is being mirrored up to my PC. As you can see, I've already got the Skytrack range open and my phone screen on top of the Skytrack range. That image is then being projected onto my impact screen over here. So what I like to do is I'll hit my golf shot, see where it goes on the Skytrack range, and then I'll head over to the screen and I'll start analyzing my golf swing, see what I did good, uh, see what I need to improve on and take it from there. So here's how you set it up and connect it to your computer. Okay, if you open up Google and type in a power mirror. Now this is a software that allows you to mirror your screen from your iPhone to your desktop or your laptop. I think it works on Mac and Windows. So you can download it um, you've got a free version and you've got a paid version, uh, but we only need the free version. So once you've downloaded that software, you should get a little icon on your desktop here. So if you just click on that to open it up, um, it tries upselling you. But we don't want to do that, just continue your free trial and you come up with this screen. So what you need to do then, you need to head over to your iPhone. So over on your iPhone, all you've got to do is just swipe down from the top right hand corner, head to screen mirroring, and it should come up on your screen mirroring, your laptop or your desktop, whatever it is that you are wanting to mirror to. It should say A Power Soft, and mine's obviously called Mitch Gaming. So I'm gonna click on that. Now I'll give it a few seconds. Um, sometimes it takes a while. That's obviously done it pretty quickly and we can go back on our normal phone screen and as you can see there is my iphone screen mirrored onto my desktop so once we've got that let's head over to skytrack which i already had open and um, we're just on the range and the practice facility here and you can move your um, iphone screen wherever you want there um, i like to move it over to the right hand side because obviously I want to be able to see my carry distances and all that. So, unfortunately you can't make the A power mirror screen any smaller. Um, I reckon you probably could if you got the paid version of the software, but we're not into that. We're into saving money on this channel. Once we've done that, once we've got our phone screen on the Skytrack software, then all we need to do is head back over to our phone and open up the Swing Profile app. Now, once you've opened up the Swing Profile app, just head over to the camera and away we go. Now, within the app, you have a few different options. If you choose the auto function, then you'll have to go back and forth to your phone after every shot to analyze your swing. Now, this is fine if you're out at the driving range because it's still gonna give you some great feedback. But if you've got a home golf simulator, then I would recommend that you use the replay function within the app. This basically replays your swing back to you straight after you've hit your shot. So if you hook this up to your PC, all of a sudden you have an amazing training aid providing you with some instant swing feedback. As 
just one thing that you need to know. The replay function with the free version of the app only lets you replay your swing automatically a few times a day. Now, if you want to get unlimited replays of your swing, then you need to sign up, which costs you £7 a month. Now, what I recommend is you try the free version of the app first, see if you like it and see if it's going to benefit you and your golf swing. And if you think that it will, then go ahead and pay the £7 a month. I must admit, I tried the free version of the app and I thought it was fantastic. And I've been working on fixing my over the top golf swing for a few months now. And this app has really benefited me and helped me try and correct some of the mistakes that I do. As you may have already figured, you can set the swing profile app up behind you like I do, or you can also have it facing you. Now, it depends on what you're trying to work on in your golf swing. So for example, if you're trying to fix a sway in your golf swing back and forward, then you're probably gonna to wanna to set the app up so that it's facing you. Now, me personally, I've been trying to fix my over the top golf swing. So by setting the camera up behind me, straight away from my feedback, I can tell whether I've come over the top or whether I've managed to shallow out my swing. And that's it. That's how I like to use a swing profile app in my golf simulator. I hope this video has given you a new idea for how you can work on your golf swing. If it has, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to Handicap Golf for more helpful videos about the Skytrack Golf Simulator, other golf simulator related content. And hopefully when we get out of this lockdown in the UK, I can get back out on the course and see whether all this golf simulator practice has actually improved my golf game or not. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.